Black Myth Wukong reviews the Souls like action hype train is a little off rails. So, uh, I, I, we've seen like the, the what's it called again? The, the, the quick responses, but, but, but the thing is, that according to what I heard, the reviewer who wrote this said that it was not diverse enough, right? It was diverse in like, uh like combat or whatever like in-game shit but not diverse enough in characters and i believe they uh a lot of people started giving them feedback started replying to them so they actually had to buy screen rant team but the internet is forever and i and i posted this on x i posted it on x because they were trying to hide their shit right uh, let, uh, did I, I think I posted on my own or it was, I posted on project egg rose. I think it was might've might been project egg rose, right? Oh no, right here it is. I found it. There it is. So right over here, I pulled it up. I saved it. And it says right over here, the good old Google black myth, Wukong review souls like action hype by Samar Abedian. Abedian? Abedian? I'm not sure. But the thing is like, they eventually went to like cover for this person, right? So if you, if you actually go to hypnotics, right? This is, he talked about it right over here. And it's a uh, note, editor knows the author's name has been removed for their safety. Oh man. Oh, so they're, they're, they're so scared. They're so, right? And then if you actually go back to the, if you actually go back right over here, yeah, right? This is the original post. Now, if you actually go to Google and type in this article that is actually says by the Screen Rant team. So the internet mm -hmm. is forever. You cannot, you cannot rock, you cannot hide, you cannot run. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So Samar some bitch. <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> Let's go ahead and read this article right over here. Uh well, no, this is a review. This is a review, right? So in the role of the Destiny One Black Mafuka, I actually just want to see right over here. This is the important part right over here. Pros. Combat is fluid and fun. Cinematography can be breathtaking at times. Great diversity in items and mechanics. Okay, I'm gonna go boom. Sorry, I wasn't sharing. And it gave it a three out of five. And right over here, uh, cons, game performance is unpolished. Now, I want. Uh, do they actually say what they played it on? I want to see what did they play it on. Uh, I want to see. Okay, is it PC? Okay, right, the right, recommended right. specs for the game. So that's implied PC, in my opinion. Okay. So they in played the second with, paragraph. Yeah, sorry, so sorry. They, played, they played with an i. It looks like an i5, Ryzen 5. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I think it's right uh, over here. Yeah. So, so, no, if they recommended what did what did they play with, right? But let's go and continue reading over here. Game performance is unpolished, lacking in inclusivity and diversity. Gameplay becomes repetitive over time. They have not played a Souls game before, I think. And this is probably their Souls like game. It's because all Souls game basically is it's basically dodge, attack, dodge, attack. Now, Gray, what are your thoughts on this crazy ass bitch's uh, take on lack in diversity and inclusivity? Yeah, I also tweeted on our egg roll Twitter. Like, yeah, it's not surprising anymore. They have a lot of takes with like these on the movies too. So it's not surprising that. Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know what to say anymore. You, you guys were just, you know what you guys were doing then to the point that you even hid your name. You wouldn't have to hide your name if you didn't have to insert this woke BS in your review that has yeah. nothing to do with the video game. It's a it's a video game about Chinese mythology, and you want to insert your oh, there's no black bi lesbian in the game. It's it's gonna get a minus five, for, <sighs> minus four for me. Okay, so so the thing is that this game from Game Science it's from China, CCP has ultimate say on what goes in and out of the country, right? CCP has a whatever censorship and whatever the game. Whatever they like, because they have to, before they, they sent that out, to, uh, they, they, they ship the game out to the world, it has to go to the CCP, right? And they go through all of their censorship laws and stuff like that to see whether or not if it's good. And, um, and the thing is that China doesn't really care about offending people, right? Take a look at what we talked about several weeks ago with the whole Hoyoverse, in, uh, the boycotts of Genshin Impact and Honkai Star Rail and Zenless Zone Zero. China doesn't care, right? And what they did do, they, they responded with, to their fans saying, this is a make believe game. This is not real, right? Go and touch grass, yada, yada, yada. For this one, uh, they, these people don't know, um, you know, Journey to the West mythology. This is a, this is a Chinese Eastern like mythology based off, and this is one of my favorite uh, mythologies out there. And who the fuck cares? Is the game good? 
Nobody fucking you you gave it. A, he probably didn't knock it down a full point because of lacking in inclusivity and diversity. Where are the gay people? Where are the lesbians? Where are the chicks with dicks? Like I need them in this game. And if you need inclusivity and diversity in this game, you guys are fucking fucking retarded, man. It's so stupid. And the thing is that you already have diversity in species. What what more? What more do you want? How diverse can you get with interspecies? Dude, a monkey falls in love with a fucking spider lady? Are you? Get the fuck out of here. That's interspecies freaking sex, all right? Like, they're going to have a weird, like, freaking, like, mutant baby, man. Like, it's it's so stupid, man. This is crazy, right? Furthermore, furthermore. The gamer also comes out with one right here. Game science is reportedly making content creators promise not to discuss feminism politics for black myth Wukong codes. How do you feel about this, Gray? I think it's a good thing because like this is all about a video game and not inserting your politics or whatever it is that you believe in. Because these people forget that people play video games to escape from all that BS. We keep hearing that every, literally every single day when we go to work, when we interact with our families, our friends. So you, you want a space where you don't have to deal or talk about or think about any of these BS. And these people apparently want to insert that into. Yeah. And it's really, really getting annoying, really frustrating. Yeah, absolutely. Now, let's see what they, they actually say. So I'm going to scroll down right over here. Notice, by using the game key and creating content, you acknowledge that you have been informed of the following content and your statements are not related to the marketing team. Do's and don'ts. Do's, enjoy the game. Don'ts, do not insult other influencers or players. Makes sense. Do not use any offensive language and humor. Well, we're probably not going to get one then. We're for, we're for sure not going to get one, man. We talk shit about the CCP all the time, man. We're definitely not going to get one. <laughs> you see, do not include politics, violence, nudity, feminist propaganda, fetishization, and other content that instigates a negative discourse. Now, what do you think about this? That, that one, nudity. You know, you know, I, I watch a lot of. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, Maxim Korea and other stuff. So uh, that that that's probably out the window. Negative. Okay, that's pretty vague in my opinion. So don't say anything bad about it. Uh, okay, that I have an issue with. If that's what they're meaning, yeah, don't you think that's kind of a bit too broad? Negative. Oh, the the frame rate of the game stutters from time to time. That's a negative discourse. So <laughs> I think that should be said. But uh, they're saying according to this um, rules and regulations that th we shouldn't. That's be that's a bit of a again another red flag for me. Yeah, as much as I wanna push to say buy the game, it's like I, I would recommend as of now, as like hold off first, especially I like to consider my PC to be um more a bit more high end than most people. So even I have reservations in getting it. So mm -hmm. Let's see see the actual reviewers first on how it runs on their PC because like the people who are who review it now they have like the forty nineties the the i nines so wait for people with probably lower end PCs to try it out first before yeah. jumping in yeah did you did you see the next one do not trigger do not use trigger words such as quarantine and ice or isolation or COVID nineteen uh, that's probably a CCP <laughs> man that's probably a CCP mandate so <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll let let, we'll, we'll let that one slide. <laughs> it's, oh, it's a CCP mandate. No way, man. The fact that it's like, yo, you can't... Do not say Kung Flu. Do not say Wuhan virus. <laughs> no. Don't say... Maybe not even monkeypox. <laughs> oh, man, dude. Holy crap. That's crazy, man. Do not discuss content related to China's game industry, policies, opinions, news, etc. Basically, do not talk about CCP. Uh -huh. Do yeah, not say anything bad about China. Do the not Chinese mention game. Winnie the Pooh. <laughs> yeah. The only thing bad about the Chinese game industry now is like how predatory it is. It, the gotcha ones anyway. How much of their um, middle class spends become become whales. <laughs> I think that's about it. I, everything else I think is fine with regards to Chinese video games. Yeah, that's crazy, man.
Uh, that's absolutely insane. You see, Black Myth Wukong developer Game Size is reportedly trying to ban content creators from discussing certain topics in exchange for the game code in a leak. So it's basically access journalism again. Yeah. It's like act, not just access journal because like, some of these people like are like um reviewers, right? They so this is access journalism. I I hate access yeah. journalism, dude. Yeah. Like I I I know that's how things are. It's like oh you say, but the thing is that like if you're gonna give me a a a, a copy, an early copy or a code expect me to review the game right yeah. but it's like, oh don't say anything bad about the game don't say anything bad yeah. about china it's like what the fuck like yeah. why are you that, limiting yeah that's what that? that's one of the reasons why i like luke i take luke stevens as one of my role models when i review games like he always says this like um i will only take in an early copy of your game if you let me say whatever i want and then for those who don't allow it he he's not gonna accept it and for those who do then that's when he takes it on and makes a video in advance so yeah you can have it you can have integrity still even though you don't get the early copy you can still in my opinion you can still generate good views and watch hours if you get if you get the game on release and play yeah it, just like everyone else you don't, you don't really need that advanced copy yeah it, it, it has an edge but it's not a, it's not essential you don't need to give up your integrity just to get that early access that's how i feel yeah it's uh, it, it's it's sort of weird, man. It, it it definitely is sort of weird. It's, it's like you cannot say China is asshole. You cannot say that. <laughs> you cannot say that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh man, In in a leaked document, which uh, at least one con uh, content creator has publicly stated and received from the game science, there is no, there's a do's and don'ts section telling those who receive the code what they can or and cannot discuss about the uh, con uh, in their content. Here, the document informs that the Black Myth Wukong codes. Uh, that were uh, cannot include politics and feminist propaganda. Like for me, politics, feminist propaganda. Yes, I I, I think the it's just like what what is the game? Like what is the game? Did you enjoy the game? What what did you like and what uh, about the game? That, that's it, right? And like yeah, it should you shouldn't have to talk about politics or female uh, feminist propaganda. But yeah, that's good. But but the fact that you cannot talk about anything else that makes China look bad. That is a bad thing. Okay. In, okay. In their defense, I think they just want to keep politics out of it. So it works both ways. Like politics yeah. we agree with and politics we don't agree with. What I don't agree with is the negative discourse. That's too broad. Like it's like, don't say bad things about the game. That's my interpretation of negative discourse. Everything else, kind of fine. Offensive humor, that depends on the channel. My channel, I don't really say negative stuff. But for others, that's going to affect them if that's their way yeah. of reviewing games. That's it. That's, those are my issues with it. That 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 is crazy. You have like the freaking terrible reviews from Screen Rant that like has it's like oh what does lacking inclusivity and diversity have to do with the gameplay or like like it's like it's and you have like agenda driven stuff and now you have this thing. I I just find this whole thing pretty funny. But yeah, uh, I'm looking forward to playing the game. I'm really really looking forward to it. I I'm excited to play the game. It's it's one of my most anticipated games um that haven't came out yet. So uh yeah, it's gonna be super fun. Um now um I hope that there's like some kind of news that comes out maybe later today, tomorrow, or maybe early Monday saying that they optimized. Yeah. I, I'll, I'll probably wait yeah, for your uh, feed, your initial feedback on you're sure you're going to get the game on day one. So you yeah. have a better PC than I do. So I, I want to know how it runs on your PC before I jump in. Thanks for checking out this segment of the project egg Row podcast. If you like what we do here, please like, share subscribe hit the notification bell and you will know next time when we go live we do go live every saturday at 8 p.m once again we are just getting started tons of more video to come thanks and we'll see you guys next time